I grew up with little resources, to be honest with you. I come from an underprivileged uh, background. One of the things that motivates me is really to use whatever little that you have, and if there's a, a possibility of extending or reaching out in terms of the little that we have because if no one believed in me or gave me the opportunities that I got, I don't know where I would have landed. In terms of our mission, we really want to continue providing relevant solutions that are highly innovative, simple, but relevant. That's how we view it at AET, that it must be a meaningful solution that adds value to the lives of people. Innovation doesn't always mean starting something from scratch. You could be taking a product or a solution that exists and actually adding more stuff to make it work better or actually complement it. The hotspot gives a sleeve. It's a buoyant or flexible plastic sleeve that you retrofit on your geyser. It will use its thermosiphon in terms of funneling hot water to float on your, on your geyser so that you've got access to that hot water while your cold water is sinking because of density, meaning you improve the efficiency of your existing geyser without having to change to an alternative solution. I switch on my geyser at 4 o'clock in the morning, then I go back to my bed, then I wake up at 6 o'clock. By that time, the water is ready. The problem that South Africans have, you know, where geysers in the household become the biggest consumers of energy. If you save at household level, you are actually also reducing the need and the demand for more polluting products like coal. From a simple idea, there's many stages. Sometimes innovation isn't always looking at new things. It's to go backwards to you and say, but there is a simpler way of doing this and a cheaper way of doing this. We must start developing our own technology and not always looking at the rest of the world to help us because we've got our own solutions and we've got our own problems. We didn't want to manufacture products and then uh, package them in a plastic and create another environmental hazard. So we got into the space of value addition in terms of manufacturing the reusable bags and use a PET recycled material in terms of making sure that you can reuse the bags and reduce the level of pollution. Uh, it used to be a thriving industrial zone uh, in the days of the homeland government of Siskai, all the way from 60s, 70s, up early 1990s. But today, you see this area has been uh, neglected because a lot of those companies moved out after 1994 leaving a lot of factories unoccupied, exposed to vandalism. Looking at the, at the situation now, trees are, are growing within uh, these buildings, and I believe uh, something has, has to be done. I think textile was about 50, if not 60 percent of that economy. So you've got access to the pool of skills of people who've used to work in the factories, who are used to work in the textile industry. So for us, really being in Timbaza, it's about us having access to the resources, but at the same time also aligning with the strategic objectives of government when it comes to development. That is the vision to see many of those companies now getting into factories, employing much needed labor that is out there, especially youth and, and, and women, and to change the face of the economy of the Eastern Cape. So COVID has actually taught us a new way of doing things. We found ourselves in a situation where we had to think out of the box quickly and find solutions on how we go forward and survive. That's what made us to really navigate through uh, COVID. We've got the resource and the need right now is PPE. So why not use the machines that we've got and manufacture PPE? We are making a change in, in people's lives and it just gives people, I think, hope more than anything. Our people at the location, no work. We are suffering, but there's the hope from AET.
The partnership with SEED really assisted us in terms of the impact that we create, not just focus on the operational side of the business. Being part of the SEED finalists really meant for us that we are on the right track, there is more to be done, and we, we are more aligned when it comes to the sustainable development goals. And it also makes you really think in terms of your value add and your business operations as well going forward. I want to see AET grow. I want to see uh, AET being on uh, everyone's lips. I feel like this is even dreaming on an international scale and I see that it's possible. I hope AET make the work for the Dimbaza people. We pass the message and educate those that are around us to make sure that they, they understand what is the importance of looking after the environment. Push the narrative that going green is how it should be. In terms of science, you can recycle almost anything. We manufacture bags that use for shopping so that... To spread that word, that word of saving energy, of going green. <laughs> No matter what challenges any of the bananas or pendulum, the banana is a spirit, Salahil. We are the change that we want to see. You start with whatever you have, and with what you have, you can build on it and include others as well as grow wherever you are. It is possible.